How about trying, God? How about stepping up to the plate and saying, God, you know, I really don't know. Are you willing to go that far? A little faith. A little faith in God. Are you willing to step out on a little faith? Say, I don't really know. I don't. I, I don't. But I want to know. Can you step out with that little faith? And say, God, I don't know. But I want to know. I hear that preacher, but I don't know, but I, I don't know. Can you be that honest with yourself? Can you be honest with yourself to say, you know, I really don't want to go to a place of torture and damnation. But I don't know. Come with a little faith. We'll open up the Bible. We will show you what God has to say to you. We'll show you in Isaiah 1 where God is offering to you an invitation. God's not willing to send you into hell. He wants to save you. But you've got to be willing to step out and come. Even I don't know is a safe start for God. You've got more hope than an atheist. Hebrews chapter 11 says, you know, you've got to have faith in God. It's a lot better than doing nothing. But rest assured what the Bible says. There is a hell. There is a heaven. And the only way to get to heaven is by Jesus Christ. God does not want you there. And yet the holiness and righteousness of God is that the choice is yours. And you may say, well, God will not throw me into hell. No, you choose to go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. It's your choice. If you turn away from the Word of God, you're going to hell. It's that simple, and you don't need to go. And if you go to hell, you're full, especially getting preaching from the Bible. Look at yourself in the mirror. What you see in the mirror is what you're going to get for all eternity. Those eyeballs looking back. Once those eyeballs close to death, they open to eternal life. Those eyes that you have are eternal eyes. They can look upon the Lord Jesus Christ and be blessed, or they can be tormented in the flame forever. You can rest in the Lord, or you can be damned by Satan. Religion will get you to hell as a, as a water slide goes down. But there's no water. You just burn your butt on the way down. Yeah. I'll tell you what, what religion is, is a, as a slide going down. It's one of them old slides no. in, the middle of the so, in the middle of the summer that's been burnt, and you're wearing shorts, and you go down and you burn your legs. Oh, I remember them days. That's what, that's what religion is. It's a slide down into hell, you don't come out. But Jesus Christ is the ladder, the way up. And guess what? Upon Jesus Christ, you don't climb that ladder. He brings you. At the rapture, He calls us up. At death, He says, absent from the body and present with the Lord. 
And it's so foolish to watch you people just go about your business and not give heed to what God has to say. You're all foolish. And you can't just ignore God away. You can ignore me, but you can't ignore God. You will scream in terror forever in hell because you will not listen to God and His Son. There is no relief in hell ever by rejecting Jesus Christ. You and your beauty will burn and burn and burn for all eternity because Jesus Christ is not in your life. You will suffer, and you do not need to suffer. You can walk the streets of gold of New Jerusalem. In heaven there are streets. In hell there is a flame. That flame is called the lake of fire. There's nowhere to put your feet for a foundation in hell. You can't reach down and get no solid ground in hell. Your friends may tell you to go to hell. We tell you how not to go to hell. You don't know what love is when people stand out and tell you how not to go to a place of torment. You don't realize how much God loves you this morning to have us here. You don't realize how much that we love you to be here to tell you how not to go to a place that's God forsaken. And come week after week after week when we can. If there was no love of God, we wouldn't be here. If there was no joy of God, we wouldn't be here. We enjoy and love Jesus and proclaim and have wonderful things about Jesus. That's why we're here. Where's your love? Where's your joy? How much does it cost? Mine is free. Mine is absolutely free. No charge. And I didn't even pay for my sin. Christ paid for my sin. By a brutal, battered, a body that was beyond recognition of what that body was, Jesus Christ, on that cross. The Bible says you couldn't even recognize who Jesus was. And such a dead worm as I am, that Christ died for my sins. Thirty years ago, almost to this day, I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Thirty years. I left the drugs behind. I left the alcohol go. I let the booze go. I let the cigarettes go. Jesus never let me go, and I never let Jesus go. I've had a wonderful, great time, and still having it in Jesus. How about you? Can you truthfully say that whatever it is that you have is giving you pleasure, giving you joy, giving you peace? How many hymns are there written to your joy? I've got song books and hymn books and all kinds of joyful books to Jesus Christ. Yep, 
Death is coming. Death is coming. We don't know when. I have no idea when death is coming. But I do know one thing. Before it comes, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you can be saved. If you don't, and death catches you without the faith and belief on Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. And when you die, you can't take anything with you. And the day you were born is the day you go. They may dress you up, but you don't take that clothing. And you'll stand before God the Father one day in your nakedness without Jesus Christ. Condemned. Damned. And then God telling you to go to hell. If you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. I have not asked you to do nothing you cannot do. I have not asked you to give money. I have not asked you to climb a mountain. You don't even know my name. I don't want you to know my name. Because it's not about me. But I want you to know about Jesus Christ. That upon the name of Jesus Christ, you can be saved from hell today. Today! Today you can be born again. Today you can have your names written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Today you can change your eternal destination from hell to heaven. Today. Today could be the day that you will be forever in heaven. We're not promised tomorrow. Don't say, oh, I'll wait till tomorrow. I still got to sow my wild oats. God may put that sickle into those wild oats. I guarantee someone today that woke up dead had a to-do list. And they'll never do what they wanted to do. And yet your ears have heard the gospel that Jesus made. That Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. You have heard the way of hope. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You can get out of hell today. John chapter 3 says, if you have not ever believed on Jesus Christ, I'll show you if you want to see it. You're condemned already. You're not going to hell. You're already there. Your body hasn't caught up with you yet. I mean, take God at His word. Believe on Jesus. Come with little faith. Step out and say, you know, I really don't know. There's three of us. One of us will talk with you. You may not like my voice. That's for, there's two other people who can talk to you about God. And they'll do it with a Bible. Opinions are not allowed when, when we're dealing with God. We deal with the Bible. Opinions are like a butt. Everyone's got one. It stinks. But the Word of God 
abideth forever. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away, said Jesus. Maybe you don't want to have anything to do with Jesus. Maybe you don't want to have anything. Maybe you're mad at God. Maybe you hate God. Well then let me tell you, hell is the best place for you then, because there is no God. There is no Bible. There is no Jesus in hell. But there's no mercy in hell either. There's no grace in hell. There's no love in hell. There's no party in hell. See, if you don't want God, you don't want love, because the Bible says God is love. If you don't want Jesus, you don't want mercy, because Jesus is merciful. If you don't want the Bible, then you don't want peace, because the fruit of the Spirit is peace. So there's so much that you give up by rejecting God and His Word and His Son. And Satan is so cruel that he'll take you to hell and then tell you, Oops, sorry, there's no alcohol sir. Come on, you know hell's a place of fire. You think there's alcohol? Think about it. Really? Just think about that logic for more. Hell and alcohol. Fire and alcohol. Now picture your body in that flame. And the pain don't go away. Because your eternal soul will be in that flame. And the eternal soul doesn't go away. It stays in that flame. And there is no medication. There's no drugs. You suffer. And you burn. And you suffer. And you burn. And you don't want alcohol. You just want a little drop of water, the Bible says, just to cool your tongue. What if you're a Jew and you don't believe in Jesus? You've got to help even as the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because right now, it's your Messiah too. So if I don't believe in Him, I go to hell? Yes. In the Buddha. In the Buddha. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father. I don't think Jesus is going to empty Not even God is Even your rabbis say, by the word of God, Jesus Christ is the fulfilled Messiah, by the fulfilled prophecy. He doesn't know. He doesn't. He doesn't want it. But God is giving you that free choice to believe on Him or to cast off the earth. God is giving you the choice. He's, he's long suffering. It's not really that you will go to hell. I'm happy for you, and I'm happy for me that I can do that. I'm happy for you. No, this is Solomon said. You're a Jew. Are you Jewish? I'm a Jew. Solomon said in his prayer about the opening temple, there is none good. No, no one is good. Not in the eyes of God. You can't be. Your history of the Jewish people has been rotten, it's been terrible. Asterisk, the case. God bless you. All right. God bless you. I'm sorry. When was the abuse. last time you made a sacrifice for your sins? Of, when have you brought this day of atonement? How many times do you go to Jerusalem? Where's your high priest? Where's, Where's the temple? How many times a year? That's what your, that's what your whole testament says. That you cannot embrace other people's faults. No, we're embracing what God has yeah, said. You God. have no lamb to offer at the Day of Atonement. But that lamb is the lamb of God. What Jesus said to me is that you have a young woman who does not open herself to the world and the cross and the cross. Wait a minute, as a Jewish person... You want her part of the world. Sir, the world is wicked. Sir, as a Jewish person, you rejected the Gentiles. That's the world. I'm going to reject anybody. The Old Testament. Jesus said, God said, go in there and wipe them all out. God said, destroy them all. Destroy their religions. Destroy their pictures. Destroy their idols. That you may know that God is one. I know. I'm just trying to show them what the Scripture says. 
That's why I asked him if, what sacrifice he's made for his sins lately. The choice is yours. God has given you today a choice. These people are right here have been passing out tracks and they're all money. There is a way. There is a truth. And there is the life. And it's by Jesus Christ. There is salvation in no other. This gentleman here was of the seed of all things, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he doesn't know the scripture. Shame on him. Neither did the priest in Jesus' time know the scripture. When God showed up to the nation of Israel and they turned them over to the Roman government, and when they turned the Messiah over to the Roman government, you have the gospel. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The absence of the scriptures of the Jewish people brought us the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Jewish. Born of a Jewish woman. Of the tribe of Judah of the seed of King David. Don't have a Jesus out of Hollywood. Don't have a Mel Gibson Jesus, because that's a Roman Catholic Jesus. Don't get the Jesus that you see the picture on Facebook. That's not Jesus. The Jesus of God of the Bible suffered and died for man's sin. The Jesus of the Bible is God. And God is Jesus. And Acts chapter 20 verse 28 says God's blood. What do you think about the Bible changing? Did you notice that? What's that? We don't do like the Bible, Bible changing. changing. Me neither. Do you notice that? I like the Bible way. They, they take out the blood. They take out Jesus. Did they tell us the Have you heard about like the passage where it, it was for the lion, our whole the lamb. life? Is now the wolf well, and the lamb? Now, yeah, like, yeah we've not, I noticed that. I mentioned that. Why is the only Bible... Before it was written 1800s. 1800s. It says the lion and the lamb. Now, now it says the wolf and the lamb. It's changed. It's changed in Satan's changing. Man is, man is, the Bible comes from two places. One comes from uh, the Nazareth. Yeah. And the other one comes from the Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. And the Old Testament came from the Bible. Yeah. 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 Yeah